Absurd, dudes. Picture this. You're in a 1v1 situation with 20 seconds left on the clock. You have the diffuser. You can either go for the pick or go for the plant. You're situated by a staircase. That's the only viable pathway of entry. You turn the corner to find a triangular wub wub emitter. Good luck. Potatoed. She knows you're there. 15 seconds. Hey, good job. <laughs>these are some examples of some old useless crap that i used to keep in my old wallet y'all already know the sponsor it's ridge wallet the design is simple for a reason it keeps things to a minimum so you don't have to think about it too much this design keeps all your cards like this and then there's a strap on the back on some models this is the one that i have to keep your cash on the back in little bill folds and it goes in your front pocket Easy peasy. It has a lifetime warranty, so if you don't like it, you can return it whenever you want. Get 10% off of your own Ridge wallet by going to ridge.com slash Gregor and using the promo code Gregor. Links in the description. Malusi is terrifying Rainbow Six Siege as we speak. She's faster than a speeding bullet with a gadget that makes people slower than a slowing bullet. Her gun fires rapidly without a lot of recoil and she has C4. I believe the general consensus is that this character is very powerful. I don't have a problem with the nature of a gadget that can slow people down, but I do have an issue with the lack of counterplay evident in the gadget's usage right now. There is a lot of bulletproof utility currently existing in the game. From the obvious bulletproof cameras, to bulletproof cameras that fire laser beams, to deployable shields, to deployable shields with hot sauce packets stuffed on the back of them. I think that Ubisoft is doing their best to provide interesting gameplay through the usage of new operators with the engine that Rainbow Six Siege currently runs on. I don't think we're going to get too much more variety until Rainbow Six Siege gets ported to a new engine, if that's ever going to happen. To talk about Malusi from a game balance perspective, I'm going to use the words that Ubisoft used themselves to describe her. A crowd control operator that has a functionality similar to Clash, Ella, Legion, and the like. Let's compare them. For starters, Clash at least has to be alive to use her ability. Ella has passive utility that is one and done. Legion uses his ability on select points, Echo has to stay alive to use the drone to get the plant denial out of it, and it can be shot out with IQ. And Frost, well, you gotta look down. That's pretty much it. Malusi is the only one of these operators that has bulletproof crowd control aside from Clash, and Clash is the gadget. She has to be standing there, and there's an inherent degree of risk involved. She also can't shoot and use the gadget at the same time. She has to commit to one or the other. Malusi's wub wubs, as the community has affectionately called them, are bulletproof. Their range is considerably high, and she gets three of them. They also provide her with constant intel whenever somebody is caught in their radius through a sound cue. When somebody runs into an Ella mine, the Ella mine goes off, and that's it. When somebody runs into a Legion mine, they take the needle out, and that's it. When somebody runs into Malusi's Wub Wub, unless they have the tools to get rid of it, or they get close enough to melee it, then the Wub Wub will Wub on until an attacker is swung on for a free kill by Malusi, or the clock ticks down to prevent a plant. There's a distinction between crowd control and area denial. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but as far as I understand, area denial provides the threat of death to keep players from staying in one spot. Think of Smoke's gas grenades or Goyo's firebombs. Remember, stay out of the fire. Super high level tactic, remember that, yeah? But Lion didn't have a magical ability that smited defenders from above with the power of Zeus. He just forced players to stand still because if you moved, that was actionable intel, which made you an easy target. That's what made Lion overpowered. Lion didn't give you free kills. He just made getting the kills practically free. So we have set a precedent for overpowered crowd control, and I think that Malusi should be able to fall under that category. Ubisoft has stated that they're aware of Malusi's issues. They're going to reduce the effective range of her Wub Wub by 33%, but it's not just the Wub Wubs that make her so good. It's her three speed rating, low recoil, high rate of fire gun, and C4 that acts in concert with a crowd controlling gadget. Can you imagine what it would have been like if Old Lion had frag grenades? I understand why her deployable shield was swapped out. Having four pieces of bulletproof utility would have been too much. And barbed wire would be too much crowd control for her to have in combination with her gadget. And a bulletproof camera would have been too much intel because the noise the Banshee makes also provides intel. Her gadget is so strong that we have to be very careful 
what kind of not as good gadget we give her because that will make her even more overpowered. Ubisoft is in a bit of a pickle, but this is how I would balance Malusi if I worked at Ubisoft. Take away one of the Wub Wubs. I don't think Malusi needs three of these devices. Considering how difficult they are to get rid of already, Malusi's performance ceiling, which is the whole fantasy football analogy that I keep bringing up that people can't figure out for some reason, no matter how many times I try to explain it. Malusi gets to have her cake and eat it too, by virtue of existing. And the other aspects of her kit mean that her potential return on investment is very high as well. Good gun, free speed C4, mainly. If I were drafting a fantasy Rainbow Six team, I'd take Malusi in the first round, and I better hope I get the first pick, because anyone who's smart is going to pick her as well. Either an emphasis should be made on how difficult these devices are to get rid of to ensure that their placement is smart, and the attackers have options to consider, eh, we'll have to allot one of our Ash or Zof charges to this device, rather than having to deal with two Goyo bombs, three Malusi wubs, another deployable shield from smoke, Two maestro cameras. We're getting to a point where Sophia is basically a must-bring operator. And in a game like Rainbow Six Siege, I don't want must-bring anything. I think that the flavor of Siege is the variety. I understand that there are certain mechanics that are unique to Siege, like hard breaching and reinforced walls. And of course, there's going to be characters like Thermite and Thatcher that are just going to get picked more than others. But it shouldn't be weighted so high. But the top 1% of operators are brought more than the bottom 99%. Alternative. Don't take away the wub wub, but require it to be shot out like a barricade. I'm not really sure why we haven't experimented more with bullet resistant utility. I'm sure somebody at Ubisoft would be able to give a very logical response to this. But from the perspective of a player, we have bullet resistant utility in the form of stuff like frost mats, but those have been more recently nerfed to prevent the effectiveness of the double frost mat strategy. But just because barricades can eventually be shot out, do you not put up a barricade because it can be shot? No, it's still useful to a certain extent. Why couldn't the same apply to more utility in this game? Making gadgets bullet resistant provides counterplay for the attackers. Right now, the issue with the defender-sided nature of Siege, in my opinion, is that the attackers don't have a lot of counterplay options for some of the stuff the defenders have. Attacker team compositions have become more about countering what the defenders bring than the defenders countering what the attackers bring. It's, it's very one-sided right now. The crowd controlling effect of the wub wub would still be in effect since it needs to be destroyed and that will inherently take a certain amount of time to do. Take away her C4 or reduce her to a 2 speed. In addition to everything I've stated about the gadget, Malusi is a crowd controller, intel gatherer, and fragger. She has everything. Some operators have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Some operators have a lot of this, but not a lot of that. Malusi has a lot of everything. Even if the gadget isn't tuned that much, taking away her C4 and replacing it with a bulletproof camera, in my opinion, would give her a large intel focus without making her too good at fragging. Her C4 synergizes with her kit exceptionally well. In addition to that, she has a great gun with a high rate of fire and low recoil. When attackers are caught in the wub wub field, she basically gets a free swing and a kill over the internet thanks to Peeker's advantage. I know that this isn't going to matter on land, but her ability to traverse the map is also going to be very powerful as well. But these are just some of my own ideas to take Malusi down a peg. I think in order to keep the game competitively viable, we need to either nerf the effectiveness of operators like her on defense or add more options on attack. I'd rather have the Riot Games approach where both sides have good counters than the Overwatch approach where everyone is mediocre but a few overpowered characters slip through the cracks and then the game is just basically who can do the combo most effectively. I don't think that's fun to watch. If we're going to keep adding operators, naturally some are going to be stronger than others. That's just the nature of game design. We can't have it perfect, but we can try to get it as good as we can. Deuces. Yeah.